Okay, we want to use finger touch to control the movement of our snake. Change its direction. For example, if we click to its to its right, right? We can hopefully the platform will detect this um uh, this touch. So for example, now we can touch the the upper right area so we can yeah turn the direction of the snake moving snake okay um let's slow down this guy a little bit uh it's easier for our debugging 1.0 okay how can we introduce the, the detect the touching right touch event there's something called gesture recognizer and uh, there are many different of gestures one of them is tap that's it exactly what we need so it works like a button So we can click this icon and try to find a gesture recognizer. Let's scroll down to see if we can find it here. Gesture recognizer. Here, it looks like that. You see, tap gesture recognizer, pinch gesture recognizer. So let's see, drag and drop to into this view, okay? Tap just right, but we cannot see that anything on on the view visually, but it's here. Tap just recognizer, right? And it also appear. It also appears here. Tap just right here. So now uh, we are control drag this guy into our view controller file, like what we did for those buttons. So we are option click um, our controller file here. Yeah. And uh, so let's give it some room here. And uh, so we can control drag from this here or here. They are same. So control drag to here, release action. Uh, the name okay so we can say tapped right and uh, this time we need this guy to provide some uh, information from this gesture for example the location of it okay connect so when we control drag our buttons we didn't change that because we are not using uh, this parameter but this time we will use the parameter with this time to detect the location of our finger. So let's see if we can get the location. So let finger, finger, I mean finger location, okay, equals sender dot. Is there like location? Yeah, location in view, okay. So just, yeah, obviously, well, uh, it's in our board view, right? Board view. Finger. What's the data type of that? Option click here to check. CG point. That's the data type we are very, very familiar with, okay? So we can print out this one to detect finger, okay? to report the location of the finger. Let's give it a try, run it. Say if we touch near the top left, we should be able to see small numbers, right? Yeah, 30 something and the 23 point. And what about the larger one here? Yeah, so I think it works here. Yeah, small X and a big Y, yeah. Cool. So we can use this one 
to control the moving of the snake. We need some strategy. Um, let's turn this guy back. So, what is the algorithm? What is the algorithm? So, if the snake is moving down, right? So, we need to detect. So, we know our finger location. So, if it's moving down, we need to check our finger is to its left or right, right? Okay. So, that's, um, let's detect the center of the snake head, okay? So, let snake head center x, so cg float. What is that? It will be board dot snake. This one, right? Okay, let's define another one here for the head. So we don't duplicate this. That snake head is a snake cell, right? Equal to this guy. So we can use snake head here. Snake snake head dot oh colon yeah times say this one is the snake head so the algorithm is right is anchor point is here this one is uh is board view dot origin x right plus the the colon times the wow that's a lot a lot of logic here so it's uh, um, for the view dot origin x right plus let's hide this one we don't need that so we have more room and we don't even need this one Okay, make it smaller. Cool. So origin x plus snake cell snake head dot colon times board view dot cell side and uh, oh this one is is int. So we can, we have to change it to CG float. Now it's, it's just the anchor point here, top left. So what is the center? We need to add half of the cell side. So, oh, so we can just add the point five here, right? Plus half of it. And uh, let's make a copy of that for the Y thing. Y, origin Y, and uh, this will be row. And uh, so, yeah, it's okay. Now we have that. We can, we still need to to know which direction, right? It's moving along. So if it's, it's going, if the snake is going left, going left, so we need to check um, whether we want to turn it right or left. No, up and down, sorry. 
So if it's left, and we can put an if here, right? Oh, because here we are not inside the closure, so we don't need the self. So if um, so is if it's moving left, so we need to check our touch location, right? It's up, it's above the center head, the center of the head or below it. So if our finger dot uh, dot y right is greater than is greater than snake head center uh, uh, y so it means our finger is above the head of the snake so we can change its direction to what board dot move up yes otherwise we can just move the, uh, down B O A D dot move down that's it so we don't need this one now what about uh what if the snake is what does it complain oh okay it, it complains it's not used yet so but we haven't finished our code so if the snake is moving up right is is moving up so we need to detect if our right whether our finger is to its left or right So if finger dot x is greater than snake head center x, right? It means our finger is to its right. So we'll let it board dot move right. Yeah else dot move to the left now get rid of that down so if if it's moving down right moving down oh moving down the logic is the same cool so we can just put this one together. Put yeah with the up. So right. So moving left and right. Yeah, the logic is same. Right. Wow. We just save half of the labor. What's wrong here? Oh, okay. So, yeah, sorry. We we still need the last uh, closing brace here. Command B. Label switch should be at least one. Maybe the syntax is wrong. Is it like that? Command B. Okay. Command B. Oh, now the compiler is happy. Let's give a try. Run it. Moving down. 
So touch, right. Uh? Oh, we should change its direction. Yeah. Sorry about that. If direction is that, okay. So we just use this. Yeah, we are, we should do this. Replay this. Yeah. We, and the right, okay. Right. And the here, down. And up. That's the correct thing to do. Ah, okay, try it again. So we'll change the direction to right. Yes. And uh, go up. Oh, right. Go down. No? Oh, the wrong, yeah, it, it goes to the opposite. So going down, it click, yeah. Let's fix that. What's wrong? Up and down is wrong. So if it's, um, here is is moving um, to the left or right right so if this one it means our finger is below the snake so yeah it should go down this one it's called debugging program program has box so let's see right going up go to the right go down yes left up so that's let's, let's try like in here Okay, so let's press here to make sure it still works. Okay, here, yeah, right. We can still use the uh, the button, right? Click that. So now we we can use both the. If you are creating a real right fun game, I think you should remove the the buttons, but for our exercise. Let's just leave it there, right? Oh, we forgot to eat the fruit. Let's give it a try. Okay. Let's change back the, the fast speed, right? 0 0.5. Run it. Oh, so touch here, touch there. Go here. It. Yes. That's it, the last one before we end of this video. Control. Yes. Good timing. So now we have six cells, should be seven, yes, eight, oh no, I missed that, down, right, ah, ah, okay, have fun, see you next time.